With Ants Canada being the most known channel on YouTube to showcase ant keeping, I'm sure newcomers are wondering what this hobby is all about. In this video, I'll be your guide to inform you of everything that you will need to know about this topic. Soon to be or returning fellow ant keepers, let's dive into this uprising hobby known as ant keeping. Ant keeping had really taken storm during mid to late 2016 and 2017. Most notably, this was when Ants Canada and Ants Australia started making viral videos about this hobby, introducing millions to the world of ant keeping, myself included. Of course, there were others making videos on ants like Antimidation, Erratic Ants, Nerbs Ants, and Ants in Nature, but none made that large of an impact yet. Now in the later months of 2017, there came a rise of other ant channels, including Ants International, Amazing Ants, Ant Invasion, Nordic Ants, Ant Scandinavia, and many more to list. As I like to say, this was the second generation of ant channels to come forth and introduce more to this hobby. Before I go on, I urge you to check out their channels if you haven't already. Not all of them are still active, but do check them out and give them your support. I left all mentioned channels in the description of this video. Just as the name states, it's the hobby of keeping ants. And I don't mean collecting ants from an ant trail and putting them into your ant farm, but finding a queen and raising a colony from there. What I personally think really gets people into ant keeping is your ability to see the ants in their nest. On the surface, you usually only see the worker ants on an anthill, but never the queen or eggs. Not to mention the different species you can keep, all with their own uniqueness, with most living up to at least 15 years. As a colony, they are bound to expand in population, and since we are limited to the amount of space they take up, we can only keep them in such confined areas. A formicarium, the special name for the place where a colony resides in, is what ant keepers commonly keep their colonies in. These formicariums can have a large range of sizes, all depending on the size of the colony. And because of their size and variation, and also long lifespan, they're the perfect desktop pets to have. When it comes to ant keeping, preparation is key. You will need test tubes and cotton balls to start off. as these are the materials that you will need to keep your future colony to stay in. I've made a more detailed video on my how to catch a queen ant video, but in general, the majority of queen ants fly in spring and summer months, and you can also buy a queen or colony through trusted websites. However, those mainly apply to those in parts of Europe Asia and Australia, as North America relies completely on the GAN farm if we want to buy queen ants. Specifically in the US, it is illegal to ship queen ants or colonies across states and to other countries. If you've done this before and you didn't know about it, please don't do it again and make sure you don't release the colony into your local environment.
Even if you don't release them, because you know that they aren't native to your area, it is still illegal to keep them. They could destroy your ecosystem, or become a dangerous invasive species if released. It's just not right to keep those species in the first place. Well, thanks for listening this far into the video. If you are not a fellow ant keeper, and think this hobby is right for you, then go ahead and catch some queen ants, and also subscribe if you haven't already, if you want to see more videos like this. Alright, I'm done rambling on. My name is Ender Ants, another fellow ant keeper, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.